Welcome back to Everyday Kentucky. Legendary star of film, television, and stage joins me today as we talk about her career and where fans can find her this weekend signing autographs, posing for photo ops, and appearing on stage. Today we're welcoming Mrs. Barbara Eden. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. Well, we are all so excited to welcome you into Kentucky and have you at the Lexington um, Toy and Comic Convention. Um, mm -hmm. So we're just going to dive right in. All right. Let's talk a little bit about your time on I Dream of Jeannie because that's one of your, you know, you have multiple accolades to your name, but that's a very iconic role. Well, I'm happy. what would you like to know? <laughs> um, well, let's do with, you know, how does it remain so popular so many years out? I think perhaps a lot of that is due to the fact that we're all in uniform. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't as dated. Yes. And then, of course, the theme is a uh, uh, a classic. Everyone knows about genies and magic and it's a happy, a happy thing to see. Yes ma'am. So what were your thoughts when you got that script for Jeannie? Oh I loved it. I, I'll tell you I had been reading about it in the trades, the Variety and Reporter, and uh, I knew that they were testing uh, young women but they were all Middle Eastern, you know, it was they were Turkish or Israeli or, or Arab or Italian, all Mediterranean types. And I thought, well, that's not for me. That's not going to work at all. And then uh, I received the script. And uh, my agent called and said, uh, did you read the script I sent you? And I said, yes, I did. And did you like it? I said, I love it. And he said, well, that's good because they've offered you the part. What, what? That offered me the part when I said, do they know what I look like? You know, I'm a short blonde and I... Like your mind must have been blown like, oh, I they was. picked me. And he said, yes. He said, Sydney Sheldon would like to have tea with you, but uh, you have the part. So I went down and I met Sydney at the Beverly Hills Hotel and uh, we were in sync about the character and how she should be portrayed. And, it was fun. I loved it. I was amazed, but I, I loved it. And then I, uh, they didn't have uh, the master yet, so I did test other masters, but Larry was, of course, the and best. How was it working with him? It was always invigorating. <laughs> <laughs> he kept me on my toes, and he kept everyone else on their toes, too. Uh, but besides that, he was a fabulous actor. He was, uh, he was just uh, real. We were, we were always, we weren't playing two people, two characters. We were those characters when he was on the set and when I was on the set. It was, it was a wonderful, wonderful experience. And you embody Jeannie so well, and how, I know you wrote a book, you know, Jeannie Out of the Bottle, <laughs> several years ago. How did you, how did you live your life out of the bottle after you've done that character? Oh, well, I think you have to realize I'd, I'd done a lot before I ever yes. did that character. And then afterwards, I just continued on. I was, I was doing a lot of feature films and uh, many television films and appearing in Las Vegas and uh, I began to sing again which I hadn't done for years and yeah I don't know you know an actor acts <laughs> that's our business so we we just pursue our craft now do you have a specific role that you've played in your whole you know journey that you that stands out to you Oh my, there, there are many, there are many, and, and for different reasons. Um, I, I, of course, was under contract to 20th Century Fox, but they loaned me to MGM, uh, to George Powell, to do how to, um, um, the, the wonderful world of the Brothers Grimm. Mm -hmm. And that was my, uh, and he was a, fabulous man to work with but it was my first trip out of the country we, we filmed in Germany oh how lovely and, and that was a joy to work with him and to have that part and to be in this beautiful beautiful country 
so that was one one film. Um, How to Marry a Millionaire was a series I did at Fox before I ever did Genie. Uh, and that was my first. I mean, that was one of my first jobs in Hollywood. So I would say that's, that was one that was important to me and fun to do. Working with all women, of course, mm -hmm. but fun, fun to do. Well, you have multiple things that underneath your belt that just blow everybody away. <laughs> and they're so excited to see you. And they can see you this weekend at the Lexington Comic and Toy Convention. Yes. And that runs Friday through Sunday. They can get all the tickets, all the fun stuff at LexingtonComicCon.com. And they can find more of you on, is it BarbaraEden.net? Yes. Beautiful. Okay. Well, thank you so much. And really quick, what would be one of your three wishes? My three wishes. <laughs> yes, ma'am. My dear, I give you three wishes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. It's a pleasure having you here in Lexington. Thank you.